everyone, Irit here. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Irit and I'm a watercolor artist. Most of my videos I play around with watercolors, but today's video is a very exciting one where I'm sharing my new Sketchbook Essentials stamp set. And I will have this set available in my shop very, very soon along with a restock of the first watercolor workbook set, which many, many of you have requested. I'm sorry it's taking so long. <sighs> yeah, what can I tell you? I'm sorry, <laughs> I do apologize, but hopefully it will be happening very soon. So in this video, I want to show you what this new set includes how to use it and kind of just my tips on stamping. So I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is waterproof, water resistant. You want that. Uh, otherwise, once you'll start adding watercolor, everything like the ink will move around and everything will become a bit of a mess. If you like that look, go for it. But I always use for these purposes, uh, waterproof ink. The Onyx Black is a really beautiful, intense black. Uh, it's great for these demonstrations because you can see what I'm doing and you can see the stamp set. However, I also like to use gray uh, when I'm just, you know, playing in my sketchbook. And for that, I use the um, another Versa Versa ink. <laughs> the name escape, escapes me, but I will link it below. Uh, that one is also kind of solvent based, so it is water resistant. Okay, I am not a very good stamper. I don't have the patience for anything that is very, you know, kind of like meticulous or detailed. And that's why I really like the sketchy look because I feel like you can get away with not. Uh, getting a perfectly stamped image. However, if you do want to increase the chances, I'm sorry I'm off uh, like out of frame. Uh, I'm trying to focus in, but then I always forget. <laughs> so sorry about that. You will be able to see what I'm doing. Um, if you want a good impression of your stamp, you have to carefully ink your stamp and make sure kind of, you know, tap the entire surface of the stamp and look to see that everything is properly stamped, especially if there are areas that are kind of, you know, like solid areas, like on that top um, paint tube, there's a, a couple of areas that are kind of more solid. So you want to make sure that they are really nicely and evenly inked and you want to do that by kind of tapping your stamp carefully onto your ink pad and you want to make sure that your ink pad is juicy enough and not uh, too dry. You also want to use something like um, like an acrylic block that you can mount your stamp on. For this set actually all you need is a nice long block. That's the one I'm using. It's the only one I will be using for the set. It has some stamps that are longer, like the brush and the pens. So just like a regular round, um, smaller ink, acrylic block, sorry, will not work uh, for those because they're longer. But this size, I really like it because you can also uh, use it very easily with smaller stamps. So I will link you to that. I think I got it in a set. I'm not sure. But yeah, something like this uh, is all you need for this particular set. The first set has uh, a couple of larger stamps that are too big for this uh, block. Okay, so let's talk a little. Oh, and the last thing about stamping properly is you want to make sure that you're stamping on a nice surface that has a little bit of give to it. Um, there are kind of stamping surfaces that you can buy. I usually just use a few papers underneath the, the paper I'm stamping on. In a sketchbook, it'll usually be the other pages in the sketchbook will act as that 
um, surface underneath that has just a little bit of give so it's not completely completely flat and that uh, helps all the areas of the stamp to kind of touch the paper but you need to take your time especially if the stamp is long or large and make sure that you know you applied kind of even pressure on the entire image so that is that having said all of that i have some experience stamping and i still don't get it right all the time so you know it just takes uh you just have to be a little bit careful and you can always go back with a, a like a black pen and fill in uh, areas that maybe were not like properly inked or something like that if that matters to you i personally can't be bothered but if you like a kind of a pristine clean image then that is one way to kind of perfect it if you didn't stamp it uh, properly. With clear stamps, in theory, it is very easy to see kind of where you stamped, so you could stamp again. Um, I still find it challenging, and I just, yeah, I usually when I go back and stamp again, even with clear stamps, it's just a little bit off, and then it looks horrible. So I rather either just leave it or take... Um, like a, a dark, like a black pen and fill in the areas that I missed. So let's just talk about the images and kind of the goal or what I see as the goal of this stamp set. Obviously, you are welcome to do what you want with it. The idea behind it is to create a stamp set that can help you kind of keep track or um, curate your collection of art supplies that you either use in your studio or you take with you on the go. So we have the little um, pans where you can color in your watercolors and I created a little stamp that has six kind of half, um, half pans. Uh, but you obviously can stamp it twice or three times or as many times as you want, fill a page with it and um, create as many slots as you want for your watercolor. So you can kind of swatch your palette, create color stories, that sort of thing. Then we have the tubes, tubes of watercolors. There are two stamps that have uh, one kind of closed tube and the other one is open and kind of rolled a bit. So you can use that in all kinds of ways to kind of keep track on which colors you have, which colors you want. You can do a page of like a wish list and uh, write all the details. Just have a more kind of illustrated, fun way of, um, yeah, kind of keeping a record or reference. Um, the squeezed open tube is great for just like, you know, you can paint a little um, puddle of watercolor next to it as if like the paint is spilling out of the tube. I will show you all these things. And so you can just use that as a cute uh, illustration in your sketchbooks and um, use it kind of as a reminder of the colors you're using or maybe the colors that you need to repurchase that you're soon running out of. Um, make a note and uh, kind of use it as a cute reference. Then we have a bunch of like brushes and pens and pencils and pastels. And again, these are just fun images that you can use to, let's say, record which art supplies you have on you, um, and if you're going on a trip or if you're going out, like if you're an urban sketcher or something like this, you can start your sketchbook with um, kind of that image of your supplies and right next to it, like which is which, we have two brushes that you can color in to match your actual brushes or not. And you can write which ones they are. Uh, next to it so that you know exactly what you used. Let's say, you know, you went on a trip. Um, so this will be a nice record of what you took with you. And you can also, you know, give yourself feedback or write yourself notes and say, this brush was fantastic for, you know, this purpose or this trip or whatever. And the pastels, I use pastels all the time. So you could also color them in either with watercolors or with the actual pastels which i will be doing in a future video and same goes with the pencil stamp um, 
I love using pencils as well. I use a lot of colored pencils and mostly pastels recently. So this is just, oh yeah, that's my bad stamping. It's not the stamp set. It's just, I didn't kind of put down decisively the block. So it moved around a little bit and then you get that wobbly, double um, blurry stamping. But that's a totally user error, as you can see the other stamped images are uh, perfect. So those are like with the brushes and then there are just a few cute accessories like that clip, that paper clip, um, the sharpener, eraser and tape which is you could be um, washi tape. A lot of people use washi tape in their travel journals and I think that's adorable and you could if you're using like a patterned washi tape you could like paint in in watercolor the pattern on that stamped stamp of the tape or if you're using something like uh, painter's tape you could just paint it blue something like that I hope that makes sense so these are just like cute accessories uh, I just like the detail and I like the look of it I've said it in previous videos but I think it's a good uh, opportunity to mention I did not illustrate these illustrations myself I bought these designs from artists that are much better illustrators than me and then I selected the images that I wanted to fit kind of the look and the idea I had in my head and I you know sized them and edited them exactly to fit the stamp um, kind of format which you know also has certain specifications about the sizes the spacing the the line width and all kinds of things so um, I curated the set and I did like the final editing, but I did not uh, illustrate these myself. Uh, I could, but this is not my specialty. And I think there are artists that do it a lot better. And this is my chance of, you know, making a better product, supporting other artists and saving time <laughs> so that I don't have to learn how to create these illustrations. So I just wanted to make that clear. Obviously this, I purchased all of these with, you know, commercial um, license for commercial use. So, you know, you don't have to worry about any kind of copyright infringement or anything like that. Um, yeah, so now starts the fun part. I mean, the stamping is okay, but to me, it's just like, I want to get to this part where you actually add the watercolors. And I just love these, like the whole idea of these stamp set. The first one, watercolor workbook, was mostly focused on kind of getting to know your paints, playing with color mixes, color mixtures. I have a ton of videos using that set. So if you're interested in that, I will link those below. But this set is more of um, just creating kind of fun pages of curating color combinations, keeping a good record and reference that also looks really, really cute and fun um, of your current supplies that you're using in your sketchbook, in your trip, uh, or you have in your stash uh, or on your wish list or things you need to buy. So lots of things, uh, lots of different ways you can use this. And also just if you enjoy coloring in cute images, then you can absolutely do this with the set. Uh, my kids really love just coloring these images so you could just stamp a bunch on a piece of paper give it to your kids to enjoy then if you are into that sort of thing you could fussy cut these images uh, i don't have the patience for that kind of work but you absolutely could you know you could fussy cut them and then kind of stick them down it just looks adorable really really pretty um you could you know fussy cut them or like scan them into your computer and then for example you could print it on sticker paper like something like vinyl paper and create really really cool stickers i just thought about that and i think i will do that because i have a beautiful sticker that i bought in japan when i was there two years ago before the pandemic <laughs> And I just love that stamp. So I, I can actually make, I, I love that sticker I meant to say. So I could actually make kind of my own sticker um, using this set, like coloring the images and then uh, printing it on sticker paper. Hmm. 
that would be really really fun and you can then like stick it on your uh, watercolor palettes or I don't know any kind of surfaces that you stick stuff onto uh, yeah, so the other tube, you can see the one that is open, you can just kind of put a blob of um, like paint, watercolor paint next to it. And I just think it looks really cute. And then the one that is closed, you can color it and create kind of a label that matches the color and, you know, just have fun with it and have a really uh, fun illustrated representation of your supplies. So I just really like that idea. I love my sketchbooks and I do, I used to do a lot more like swatching in them. Now I do most of my swatching in my swatch book. It's just really, really um, effective to have one place to go to and not have to go through, you know, all of the sketchbooks that I use and also not waste the nice paper because my logbook, like my reference book just has this kind of thin paper, but it it's good enough for just swatching colors and deciding on color stories. So that's kind of where my swatches live, but I used to swatch a lot of colors in just my regular swatch, swatch books, sketchbooks. I'm sorry. It's a lot of similar words, sketchbooks, swatching, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, so this is a really, really fun way of doing that. And, you know, now I don't travel so much, although I did just come back from <laughs> a vacation. But yeah, that was, I didn't do, like, I didn't take any, um, like, art supplies. It was very, very children, family focused relaxation. And yeah, we just hung out on the beach and in the water slides <laughs> i think i got so dizzy from i think we were the most <laughs> the family that used the water slides the like the most times many times yeah um it was it was fun but there was no painting however i do feel kind of inspired by that whole lying on the beach sun colors or sun mood uh, like these happy colors uh, I do think maybe I'll be painting that but okay uh, I'm digressing here so now you can see here I actually used watercolors to color in the um, uh, kind of crayons and the pencils but I will show you another option where I just actually use the actual pastels and colored pencils to color that in so you know you have different options uh, obviously if you really want like an accurate record of which pastels and pencils you're using it's a good idea to act to use the actual supply but if you're just creating a fun illustration um, or playing around obviously you could play around with trying different color combinations also in this way meaning stamping a bunch of pencils a bunch of pastels and coloring them in and see how they look together um, so of course you can use watercolors you don't have to use the actual pencil or pastel i hope that makes sense and now i'm just like painting in the brushes so i'm just creating some muddy colors in my palette um, that ceramic palette I will also be stocking that in my shop, but I will tell you more about that in a different video. Um, yeah, I want to tell you more about it because I don't think there is one perfect palette that works for everyone because everyone has different preferences, different needs, different um, process of working. And while probably for me, my red palette is the perfect one, this ceramic palette is one of the like nicest ceramic palettes that I've used that kind of fit the way that I use watercolors. So I'll tell you uh, about that more in another video, but I just wanted to mention this. Uh, so if you're wondering, yes, this will also be available in my shop and I think it's a beautiful palette and I will actually have two options. Uh, more on that on in a different video. Okay, so the pens were just because I really, really liked the illustration. I love that polka dot pen. And then there's another one that just like the whole style of it with, you know, the clicky top. I just really, really liked how that looked. 
uh, as you can see it does have that blocked area that is completely stamped in black so you do want to make sure that it is properly inked before you stamp it or go back with a black pen and kind of fill in the the areas that were not properly inked but yeah those tend to be uh, slightly problematic especially especially if you're not experienced stamper or you're just not you know very meticulous in particular i'm not so my stamping is far from perfect uh, but yeah i just really like those images and i thought they would be fun and of course you can then write which pens you're taking with you so this is just the first video to kind of introduce you to the set and kind of give you an idea of what is included in it but i will show you many more options in the coming days and weeks so thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye bye